The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. With this phrase of Leonardo da Vinci, let's start today's video. Hello and welcome to this new episode of World History, the number 18. Today I was thinking to make a video of how food evolved by time in history, but well, I promised to do a video of Renaissance, and this is, uh, and this will be long or better, will be divided in two parts, Renaissance part 1 and part 2. In the first part, I will talk about the Medici family, the Divine Comedy, or Divine Comedy as you want to say, Raphael Sancho. And that will be it for today, so let's start. First, put yourself on a beautiful Florence. The life here is amazing. You see the greatest buildings on the city. The biggest one is the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, the icon of the Renaissance architecture. But now, on this dirty and dark house, let's open the door, and we see a man writing, a poem or a book. Well, first the man is Dante Algeri, he's writing a big book, he's writing the next phrase, that was not a flight for my wings. With this, Dante finished his book, The Divine Comedy, a book that is written for talk about the three spaces of eternity, Inferno, Purgatory and Paradiso. Inferno as hell, Purgatory as the Purgatory, and Paradiso as the heavens. This book was wrote by Dante as he was there traveling in the three places with his friend that in the reality was a poet from the ancient times, Virgil, and then when he was in the Paradiso with his impossible love, Beatrice. But the important thing with this book is that the Renaissance wasn't just art, even if literature was included in art, but also Renaissance was architecture, a type of life, and many other things that make it a difference inside the Middle Ages. But literature changed with this book, mixing religion with a form of watch the life, because Dante based on life, love and religion, for make his masterpiece. Dante's masterpiece is one of my favorites from literature, especially from the Renaissance. Now, let's talk about the Medici family. Yes, the same patrons of art Italy-wide. Michelangelo lived in his home long time, and the Medici financed some of art of Leonardo and very other gamma of artists. But Lorenzo de Medici, was the main major of art of the Medici family. He inherited the Bank of the Medici, the main purpose of the Medici to get their money. And the Medici were obsessed not only on get the money, but more importantly on how to use that money. They primarily used this money with the ampliation of wisdom fronts, art fronts, and architecture fronts. And Lorenzo continued the tradition. He invested the money on these fronts and more than the normally for the Medici manner. And finally, let's talk about Raphael Sanzio. He was an influential Italian painter and architect of the High Renaissance. Born in Urbino, Italy, he showed exceptional artistic talent from a young age, and received training from his uncle in Florence. He inspired on two great artists, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. Moving to Rome, he gained fame and received significant commissions, including frescoes in the Vatican Raphael's rooms that we can see today, with Raphael's style was characterized by the grace, harmony, and lifelike human figures. His work continued to be celebrated for their beauty and influence on Western art. He died at 37, but left behind a rich artistic legacy. 
while there is limited information available about Raffles' personal life and romantic relationships, his art provides valuable insights into his thoughts, emotions and interests. Throughout his career, Raffles' work demonstrated a very profound appreciation of beauty, harmony and human emotion. One of the, his most renowned works, The Sistine Madonna, portrays the Virgin Mary holding the infant Jesus, with cheerbones at her feet. His masterpiece is beautiful because it captures the love between mother and her child, and has become an icon representation of maternal tenderness. Raphael was celebrated for his skill in capturing a wide range of human emotions and expressions in his paintings. His figures displayed a sense of grace and elegance, and their facial expressions conveyed complex and very, very complex emotions, making them appear truly alive. This masterpiece is very evident in his famous fresco, The School of Athens. This fresco where was portrayed for various philosophers or inspired by various philosophers engaged in animated discussions and intellectual pursuits, each figure expressing distinct emotions and personalities. Even they say that artists of the time like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo are found on that painting. But we will see that in another video. Raphael's artistic approach emphasized in idealization of beauty, often portraying his subjects with flawless features and graceful poses. This pursuit of beauty was testamented to his own love for artistic craft and his desire to create visually captivating and emotional, emotionally evocative works of art. In the realms of art and verse they duel, Dante and Raphael, their stories compel, one a poet with soul aflame, the other a painter, his brush aflame. Dante, the bard of divine comedy, wanders to realms of eternity. In inferno deeps he faces his fears, purgatory's climb, redemption nears. With Virgil as his guide, straight, fast and sure, he ventures through visions obscure. Beatrice, his muse pure and divine, led him to paradise or celestial shrine. Raphael, the artist with colors divine, a master to form his works entwine. In every stroke emotions unfold, humanity's tale in art, he told. The school of Athens, a symphony grand, philosophers gathered a learned brand. In frescoes and portrait, his brilliant sword, a timeless legacy the world adored. Two souls their paths through time align, one with words, the other with art refined. Dante and Raphael, their spirits intertwined, in eternity embrace their legacy enshrined. With this poem, I want to finish this video of Renaissance Era, part 1. We talked about Dante, the Medici family, and Raphael Sancio. We finished our video, but before closing, I'm gonna give you a few information about the channel. First, soon we will have the special of the month that will be about artificial intelligence, all you will need to know about it. We will prove three uh, different types of artificial intelligence, so you can see which is the best one. Second, now you can find our podcast on Spotify, the one of Unsolved Mysteries. The link is in the description, and help, please help us to expand more. And the third thing is that now, in world history, we are working on two things that will come soon. One is the webpage, and the other one is that in that webpage we will be selling books, and some that you could read in free, and we are working also in this. Well, that was all for today. See you next time. Remember to visit our community panel and write in the comment for any proposal. See you soon. Bye.